Hey guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So you guys, story time video, here we go. First off, I want to point out that I just got Invisalign, so if I'm talking really funny, it's because I have this thing in my mouth. I'm sorry guys. So let's get into the video. I need to actually prepare myself for this one. Rewind to like 2012. I'm a freshman in high school. At the time I was attending a school in California. It was a small little charter high school and everybody wore these like uniforms. Girl, I cannot be doing that. No, 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 no. At the time I was 14 years old. I had this bright pastel purple hair. I looked like freaking scene kid. I was like so hardcore, brutal, brutal. I was on the cheer team. I had a lot of friends. Life was good. High school was high school. On this specific day of school though, we had off-campus lunch. Now this was rare for my school because we never had off-campus lunch. We usually only got off-campus lunch three or four times a year if we were lucky. Lunchtime rolls around and I meet up with my boyfriend Ethan. Now Ethan's like 16 years old, six foot tall, tan, tall, handsome, surfer dude. I have a thing for surfer dudes. So we leave school down this back alleyway and we walk to this Chinese restaurant to meet up with my longtime friend Chaz and my brother. We're all hanging out, talking, having a good time, eating Chinese food. But that day at school, I happened to have been feeling sick and I just wanted to go home. So I just like call up my mom. I'm like, hey mom, I don't really feel good right now. Like, can I just leave school and go home with you? She's like, I'm out of the area right now. Like, I can't even come pick you up if I wanted to. Meanwhile, Chaz is sitting right there just listening to my conversation. He's like, hey, I'm going home. Why don't you just go home with me? I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Like, why not? So I asked my mom if it was okay if I could go home with Chaz. So Chaz called his mom and then Chaz's mom called my mom. Chaz's mom's like, sure, yeah, I'll take Kenzie back. I'll take Kenzie back to my house, no big deal. I've known Chaz for like so long. I've known him since elementary school. So his mom knew me so well that it, it, it she didn't really care. And because my mom was going to be back so late, she was like, hey, can you just sign out Mackenzie's brother as well when you pull Kenzie out of school? My mom called the school giving Chaz's mom permission to take me and my brother out of school. The lady at the front desk was like, sure, yeah, no biggie, no biggie. Within 20 minutes, Chaz's mom drove to the Chinese restaurant I was eating at and she came, she picked up me, my brother, Chaz, and Ethan. She drove us back to the school. She signed out Chaz, my brother, and myself. Ethan, on the other hand, he didn't have permission to leave school. He just literally was like, I'ma leave. I do this all the time. Like, they're totally fine with it. Nobody cares. I was like, okay, like, why not? Like, why would he lie to me? Sure, no biggie. If he says it's okay, he does it. Like, I, I freaking guess it's okay then. So I didn't question him. Ethan, Chaz, and my brother were all on the same football team. So Chaz's mom already knew Ethan. We would hang out, chill, all go over to Chaz's house and have, like, these awesome parties together. Jenny, Chaz's mom, she didn't really have a problem with taking Ethan home. And because Ethan lived down the street from Chaz, Jenny just thought she was helping someone out. We leave school, Jenny drives us back to her house, we're all just chilling, like the vibes was good, we're all just there, kicking in life, living our lives. Once we get back to Chaz's house, he gave me some pajama pants, ditched the Hogwarts outfit, so finally, I'm all changed, I get the chance to relax, to come the f*** down to just sit down. Me and Ethan, we're hanging out, we're cuddling, being all cute, lovey dovey, boo, I love you, I love you too, no, I love you, mom, no, I love you, mom. My brother and Chaz are playing Xbox games, and then literally, out of nowhere, Jenny's phone rings. She answers it all normally, like, hey, hi, and then from the yeses, it goes to the, okay, okay, but Chaz's mom is not from America. So it's more like, yes, yes. Her voice went from normal to nervous in two seconds. She got off the phone so quick. The moment she got off the phone, she's like, your principal just called me. He told me that all of you are ditching school, that we kidnapped Ethan, that we need to return to school right now or we're getting arrested. Jenny flipped because she's not from America. She has a green card. And if she literally gets charged with kidnap, she's about to be deported. Toodaloo. Ethan's like, oh my god, no, I can't go back with you because I'm ditching school. Ditching school. 
like, wait, wait. Rewind. Ah, back the fuck up. I'm about to get charged with kidnap because you're ditching school because you didn't have permission to leave. Uh, <laughs> one thing about me you guys and if there's one thing you guys really need to know about me it is that I hate liars Jenny's literally panicking at this moment she's like all of you need to get the f back in my car we need to go back to school right now I'm not getting arrested I am not getting deported I'm like trying to change out the pajamas that Chaz gave me while putting on my freaking skirt at the same time while running back to the car so I don't get arrested Ethan's like no 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 he's like no 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 back with you guys. I'll just take the bus or I'll walk or I don't know. Whatever, whatever. We just need to go. We were all like whatever. We were so in a hurry to get back to school. My brother's just like here's some freaking money. Do whatever the hell you need to do. We're not getting arrested because of you. Did I know where he was going? No. I was too concerned about getting back to school because I didn't want to get f***ing arrested. Jenny takes us back to school. When we get there, there's a squad car already outside school. It's got his lights on. I step out of her car and I'm mentally preparing myself for the storm that is about to unleash itself. The moment I walk into school, Ethan's mom starts yelling at me, which need I mention is illegal for an adult to do to a minor in a school? She's like, what have you done with my son? Where is he? Like, whoa, ma'am, back up. I just walked in here. I need some freaking air. I don't know. Like, I'm literally like, I don't know. Because you guys, I didn't f***ing know. He didn't tell us where he was going. He didn't tell anyone where he was going. My principal's standing right there, and he didn't even ask what honestly happened. He's like, all of you are gonna be suspended. Go to the multi-purpose room right now. The cops are there, the principal's there, some other dudes that's there, there's people from the school district there, and the cops didn't even interview me. The cops didn't even interview any of us for that matter. The cops are sitting over there literally thinking that we have this kid kidnapped in the back of our trunk or something. They were just looking for Ethan. This was all about Ethan. This whole mess was because of Ethan. At this point, I'm literally thinking if I don't get expelled, I'm breaking up with this guy. Like ASAP. So we're waiting in the NPR and then we all get the news that, hey, Ethan's back at school. He's fine. We didn't kidnap him to even think that a 14 year old would be kidnapping a 16 year old is absolutely ludicrous. But here's the funny thing you guys. This is this is literally the funny part. The cops interviewed him. They literally interviewed him because they still thought that we kidnapped him, but they didn't interview us. They interviewed him because what? We kidnapped him, I kidnapped him. <laughs> so fast forward to the next day. I was told to go to school like nothing happened, like if it was any normal day. Today was gonna be the day that I found out if I got expelled or not. But when I showed up at school that day, it was like almost felt like the news had spread from everyone through the school. I knew like the moment I walked into school because teachers weren't saying hello to me. Staff members were giving me like really dirty looks. Even janitor was giving me the stink eye. It was horrible. It made me feel this big. And to be honest, it sucked. And I think the worst part was knowing that I I did nothing wrong. So later on that day, my mom comes into my school because she's having a meeting with my principal. Let's just call my principal Dr. Smurphy. So my mom, Chaz's dad, and Dr. Smurphy are all in this little meeting together. Discussing what had happened. Discussing what happened. Smurphy's saying all these type of things like, I'm gonna suspend your children while I'm deciding if I wanna expel them or not. Your kids are liars! I'll never trust them again! But did he expel us? No, because we did nothing wrong. So we all got in trouble even though we actually had permission to leave school. But Ethan didn't even get in trouble. I'm sorry, but Ethan's the one that ditched school. My mom was so pissed off. She's like, you're never allowed to talk to my children ever again if I'm not around or have supervision or give you permission. She literally told that to my principal. Like that was literally agreement through the rest of the school year. He wasn't allowed to talk to us. I'm 
just going through my day like it's any normal day at school. Teachers are still treating me horrible, still acting weird. I'm like trying my hardest to avoid Ethan. I go through my whole day ducking through hallways, running from class to class not to get caught by him. It was exhausting. Fifth period rolls around and I'm just about to leave my class and then guess what? Surprise, surprise, who's there? Hello, it's me, Ethan. He's like, where have you been? I miss you, haven't seen you all day today. What are you doing, hiding from me? I'm like just standing there like, <clears throat> finally get the courage. And I'm like, um, your mom called me last night and she kinda actually told me never to talk to you again. I don't think we should be talking. Real you guys, I could not even make this up if I was trying to. His mom called my phone the night before. Quickest phone call of my life. She's like, leave my son alone. Never talk to him again, okay? Goodbye. He's just standing there looking at me after I said this to him and he's like, I don't care. We need to talk, I miss you. I just, I just could not, like I just, I can't. I was like, no. That was some real the Like, goodbye bro. And I just walked to my next class. I ended up getting suspended from school, almost arrested from school, almost charged with kidnap, and I broke up with my boyfriend, all in 48 hours. Moral of the story, you guys, don't ditch school with your friends because you might just get charged with kidnap. If you guys like these story time videos and you want me to make more of them, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you stalk me on my Twitter and my Instagram at Mackenzie Marie. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Toodles. Toodles. Tiptoeing in my